Hey y'all, out here at the uh, Scotty DTV Traveling Charity Road Show at Auctions America Park in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I got a really nice 26 Ford traditional hot rod out here I think you're gonna like. And the cool thing is, the car's cool, but the cooler thing than that is it's right hand drive. You just don't see those. So anyways, let me get the thing set up and we'll take a look at it. Chuck, how are you brother? All right, how you doing Scott? Not too bad, tell me a little bit about your hot rod. That's a 1926 uh, Model T sedan. It's uh, been chopped and channeled. Uh, we built a full custom frame for it. Everything on the car was handmade. Nothing's been. Did you laid. do the work? Yes, we did all the work. You Every, got a shop. You say, yes, yeah, what's the yeah. name of the shop? What's Arcola shop? Custom Auto. Out of Fort Wayne? Uh, out of Arcola, Indiana. Oh, okay, where's that at? Uh, it's a little bit west of Fort Wayne off of Highway 30. Awesome. Yeah, it's How nice. How long have you been doing it? Uh, I've been doing fabrication on cars almost 30 years. And now, is this your style you prefer? Or you do yeah. just about anything? Yeah, this is, well, this is what I prefer. I'm more into the this design and style of car. Right. It, uh, Which it's is my traditional favorite. hot rod? Yeah, it's traditional hot rod. Because I guess, uh, I think a lot of people, especially, you know, I don't know nothing. I claim not to know nothing. But still, a lot of people aren't familiar, may, may classify it as a rat rod or something, just because it's, it's a simple looking kind of, it right, doesn't have the big yeah. wheels on it. It's not sitting on 18s and 20s. You know, it's just, and they don't understand, this is a really what I would call a traditional. Hot right. Rod. Uh, I've been kind of nicknamed old school. Right. Because I like everything, The what it would have been in the 50s and 60s. is right. kind of like the way I like to have them. Right. Yeah, I don't really appreciate, you know, new style chrome and aluminum wheels of 20s on You're an old car. You're not a big billet fan? No, I'm not a big billet fan. You'd rather go with flat black and maybe some uh, insulation wrap. And, yeah, uh, yeah. No, dude, it's cool. I like to wire wheels. I mean, were those like from that period but i mean where they came on this car no they're yeah. they're actually off a of 35 ford okay but it's, it's still a car wheel yeah it's yeah, still yeah. they're factory steel wheels uh, the factory beauty rings and everything uh, you know, it's got a small block Chevy motor in it, which right. you, you know you always have to. We cringe at that nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some I mean, people do. Other people christen them with a with a small block. Yeah, well. <laughs> um, but I'll tell you, as it, cool as the thing is, I think the thing that caught my eye the biggest was that you made it a right hand drive. Yeah, we uh, we sat down and was really trying to decide what to do to the car to make it different than everybody else's car, and we right. just decided we're going to go right hand drive. It's How just, hard was that to do? Really simple, just mount the steering box on the opposite side of the of the car. And there you, you know, go. And that was it. Wow. And what do you got going on here? That's real wood. That is real wood. That is uh, a hardwood floor. It uh, is all real wood. A buddy of mine is a professional flooring guy. And I decided, you know, we had to figure out a roof for hood uh, top for the car. Right. And he said, hey, what about hardwood flooring? And I said, you know what? I think it would look good. Let's let's give it a shot. No, I think it did turn out nice. Now, what did what was the trick to getting it to all be one piece? Well, he's he's professional at it. And he right. it's all glued together with uh, professional adhesives. So there's adhesives. no base to it. It's stuck on too, like that. Yeah, it's it's there's uh, steel ribbing underneath okay. to hold it up and give it the arch and everything. Right. And it's all each individual piece is glued to the next piece. It was made a lot larger than cut down to fit the car. Oh, okay. And then the edges were revarnished and shellacked and. Uh, it, it, it is what it is there. Man, that's cool. Now, the next question everybody's going to ask is, you build them, so is it for sale? Oh, yes. This car is definitely for sale. What kind of price range does somebody look at a hot rod like this? This car here we're asking 26900 for. Holy smokes, you're right on, man. For under thirty grand, you can have a hot rod that'll never go out of style. It's yep. always going to be cool. For all the fads that come along, these things stand the test of time. Yes, That's they why do. they're called traditional hot rods. Right. Or old school right. is that they have stuck around, you know? Yep. No, dude, very cool. Oh, look at that. Now, see, I didn't even see that. Look at that sword he uses a gear shift. Man, dude. And look, you got fancy on the seats too. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we don't have. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the aluminum seats and this and that. You know, right, the bomber seats. Right. Right. But you know, you could have done that and not done two tone. You could have done a lot simpler. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. yeah, we ended up one of the rarest things on the whole car ended up being the dash in it. The dash is actually out of a 1934-35 W136 Hupmobile three window coupe. Holy cow. And they they made a very very low number of those cars. And right. I picked it up at a swap meet and didn't even know it until after the car was going together. I also have a coupe at home that I'm putting together for myself or at my shop, and I decided I liked that dash so much I wanted another one. Can't locate it. All right. It's impossible to find. It's impossible to find parts for that car. That's the thing about it, right? You don't even know what you have. Then once you figure it out, you're like, well, wait a minute. I saw like six of these just a year ago when I bought this one, but now you want one. And yeah. 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 You know how rare those are? You can't find those. Yeah. No, I like the Cadillac air cleaner. You know, yeah. that's a. Uh, 
that seems to be a traditional thing you see doing a lot and i like what you did to mount your your lights here i think that's just a it's not over the top it's just a little fancy puts a little fire right, to it right. right yeah i just, just i want to show you got some style to it Chuck. yeah right. i wanted to make some like swan neck brackets right. to put on it and then like as we said earlier Everything on these, all the brackets for the headlights, the taillights and everything were all hand cut on band saws. All the holes were drilled out on drill press with the hole saws. Right. None of this car has been plasma cut, laser cut or no anything. No CNC work here. No, no CNC no, work I see, here. I could tell that from just talking to you though. That's old school. How did, how would have they done it in the fifties or sixties? Yeah, They didn't exactly. have a CNC. They didn't have nope. a water jet. They didn't have that stuff. So how'd they do it? File saws, all that kind yep. of stuff. Dude, you rocked it. Anybody we need to give a shout out to before we go? Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy Dave Smith that helped build the car. He's Dave over Smith. there walking around. There he is oh, on the phone. That's Dave. Give Smith. a wave, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we can get away with that here. Big TV companies couldn't do that. Yeah. No, cool car, Chuck. Thanks so much for coming out. Man. Hey, thank you. You're enjoying the show and all? Oh, yeah. We're having a real good time. It's good. a real nice show. Good, good. And you say it's a 30? It's a 26. 26, 26 Ford Model T sedan. Oh. Folks, there you go. Very nice 26 Ford Model T sedan. Running a Chevy, you know how I feel about that. But in this, you know, it works. And, and Chuck's a big dude. I ain't going to argue with him about it. He built a cool car. So, anyways, from the Scotty D Traveling Charity Roadshow, Auction America Park, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya.